Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Warhammer Total War as the Mighty Dawi. Um, and I'm proud to say we got ourselves out of the neither here nor there situation that we found ourselves in, um, which, to be brutally honest with you, is not that relevant to the to the commentary, and to the video, and to everything, but I just love saying neither here nor there situation. Um, the <laughs> so there you go. We had a rebellion, or we're about to have it. Well, no, we're about to have a rebellion at Gnarshark's Lair. Um, that, as you can probably tell, is a bit of a problem. Um, now, with the amount of money I have, I can't really do anything about it, you know? I have a grudge to settle with this guy, and I'm going to have to chase him down in order to do that, but uh, other than that, I mean, we're pretty much in a great position. We found out that uh, Karak Azul is very much alive and kicking, and has the desolation of Nagash province completely locked down. So, that's great news for us in the long run. Uh, for now, we can issue a commendment in one of our provinces, and I think over here is going to be pure taxes. Uh, so, let's do that, and uh, I think this entire area is going to be like a giant mine uh, for, for gold, essentially. Here is where I'm going to do all my recruitment, and maybe you're not familiar with my strategy, I don't think I've mentioned it up until now. Uh, I have in pretty much, and this is like the... Uh, it is the min-max way to play, right? It is, yeah, no no doubt about it. It is the min-max way to play. Um, and that is... Hello, Dolph von Karstein. Um, yeah, I don't... I think I'm gonna be able to beat this graveyard. Ah, no. Yep, not gonna happen. Um, not gonna happen. Not all graveyards and two cryptoters are here. No. Uh, settlement raised, really? They raised it to the ground. Oh. Peculiar little beings, I think you'll agree. Uh, well, until vamp Vampire Corruption goes down in Zufbar, there is precious little I can do in that area. Over here, on the other hand, we can continue pursuing the uh, the, crooked, uh, the Crooked Moon Mutinous Gits. And uh, perhaps while we're here, maybe potentially snag another settlement? Eh. I think we can do that, and over here, well, I want these guys to gain some more strength or to, to get some more reinforcements and replenish their numbers a little bit, but, uh, so yeah, and like next turn-ish, we're gonna start to uh, start moving out of the way. Or moving out of the way, you know what I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here next turn. Um, can continue developing that province. Uh, we lost dies, unfortunately, because of this entire situation up here. But uh, I have dispatched Thorgrim Grudgebearer to deal with that situation in the north. Um, meanwhile, this is Barak Var, and they're doing well too. Hmm. Um. I wouldn't mind getting like uh oath of loyalty isn't bad. This is pretty damn good. That's great. That is really, really good. But this will become really, 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 really good um, when chaos, when the chaos invasion happens. For now, we can deal with it as it is. 
Um, so I'm thinking we pick up a few more economic boosts. And also consider the possibility of getting in a confederation with someone. Be it Karak Azul, be it... Uh, Karakirn, no, they were at war with me. Karak Kadrin. Yeah, Kadrin would actually join in a thing with me. Who are they at war with? They are at war with Templehof, Jaggedhorn Tribe, and the Red Eyes. Um, there we go, we just confederated with them. God, the economy just went down the shitter. Um, pardon the language. So I have two grudges. One is to capture back Narshak's lair. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we're going to do go and do that right away. But, um... Oh, yeah, you can't afford this, mate. Oh, no, 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 no. You cannot afford this. Yeah, like a bunch of dwarven warriors and a bunch of the. No, I'm afraid I'm going to disband oh, most of these. What's the garrison like over here? It shouldn't be. Oof! It's a really big garrison. All right. So we will disband about that many, I think. Time for a reckoning. No, I need to disband the entire thing, aren't I? What? Yeah. Pretty much needed to dis disband the entire thing, which is not the end of the world, considering these are very low quality and low experience yeah, troops. So, and there's infighting in uh, the ordinary backslider over here, which continues to elude me. But uh, yeah, no more, no more. Um, I am going to suffer public order, uh, or public order is going to suffer rather quite a bit, but I. Don't think it'll be a problem anywhere. It's gonna be a problem everywhere. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I don't think anyone else is gonna rebel. I didn't check so far, actually, or, or did I? I think I did. A uh, hello. What's this? Oh, are you that army that I was supposed to? Uh... I think you are. Well, goodbye. <laughs> It's not worth fighting, trust me. It's like it's a minimal amount of troops. It really is not worth fighting. Alright, um, kill them. Yeah, I think, uh... What does it do? Is this literally the same thing? Leadership six for all forces, recruitment cost five for all forces for three turns. <laughs> Alright, honor is all, let's play the character to the end, I suppose. Um mm, We want Iron Willed, right? Yeah. I guess. And then this. Uh, okay. So now you can attack this place, I believe. Are you within range? Not quite nearly, though. And uh, you can attack Karak Eight Peaks as well. Putting this place at zero public order per turn. Or no change in public order per turn, which is great. It's exactly what we wanted. Uh, let's go gain the rank. We know about that. For, uh, population surplus in Zufbar. Interest. I was going to say interesting. I, I teach English for a living. Uh, yes, it does bring me some satisfaction to have to say that every time. A little bit, though. Just a little bit. <laughs> Um... Ha! Huh. How long does this last? Four times nine is... It's, it's less than a hundred, so there you go. Math with Juggernaut. <laughs> I... You cannot deny I am correct, though. Uh, Alright, so we settled one grudge. There's only one left. 
And as my character said a few moments ago, it must be settled at all costs, so... There we go, we're going to get that and the other place, and it's going to be glorious, I'm going to control pretty much the entire mountain. But, um, I'm afraid it will take some time to get us there. Uh, no, we need to go to marching, yeah. Go forced marching and get further in the next two turns. Ooh, that! I'm gonna take a fish in there, aren't we? Yeah, because it's completely barren the entire province. Well, okay. Um, as long as we keep expanding in this mountain rage, mountain rage, mountain range down south, and it's all okay with me. And yeah, I can afford to siege them out there. I don't think I can up here though. Yes. Let's see about that. Uh, they shouldn't have as... Oh yeah, they're gonna have a huge garrison there as well, but it's fine. It's fine. With my right flank secured, my rear secured as well, I can do whatever I want down south. Um, it's this area that I'm worried about predominantly. Oakenhammer and... Uh, and the surroundings. They're very close to Sylvania, and there's barely anything there to protect them. That temple hop has been destroyed. Yes. That helps my cause greatly. Needless to say. So, you're going to sit there until the end of the turn. Um, let's get some like over here. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest, it's nowhere near enough to, uh... Oh, we have nowhere near enough troops to, to try something offensive down... Or up there, or not down there. Um... You know what, I'm gonna build a little gold mine, and be content with my current situation. I think that's sensible. Alright, Karak 8 Peaks. Um... Yeah, that's not that big of a garrison. And make two dwarf siege towers and a battering ram, and in four turns we shall attack them. You know, unless they have something to say about that, and have some objections, in which case we can do that sooner as well. Um, now the vampire, the vampires, the uh, annoying little bastards, are going to spread their corruption all over this place. That much is clear to me, but uh, you yeah, summoned me. Doesn't matter. Ready? I you can't reach it there in one turn, but you can the get you can use cast. the underway to get to there in one turn. And uh, they're gathering troops up here. What's corruption like? It's at three percent and increasing steadily by a metric ton. Um, but alright. Alright. Tell you what. Um, next turn. I mean, there's nothing else I can do. I can't stop their agents. I guess I could. Uh, sorry about that cut. So, what do you want? Um, we'll bring death to the Dwarvish Realms War. Blood von Karstein. A ruler of Western Sylvania, by the looks of it. Well, uh, I'm gonna call Barakvar to the uh, to the conflict, obviously. But see, this is what I was talking about. I was worried about the um, the area there, and there you go. Oh, really? Ah, fuck. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck. Fuckity fuck fuck. Um... Never really liked you that much. Um, that's not true, I really did, but hey. 
So while I'm meddling with the greenskins down south, the vampires are plotting against me and, uh... Might I add, extremely successfully. Now, Eastern Sylvania... <clears throat> Doesn't have anything against me personally, which is a good thing Western Sylvania on the other hand can go sod itself Can I organize like uh... Well that can we do that and uh, You know have you actually obey? Because that would save me if you could bring forces there also put you in a bit of a weird spot, but no, actually, the bloody hands aren't at war, aren't uh, at war with you, are they? No, but they're at war with me. I'm ready to control this area, and the rest of the greenskins control this sort of area. But I'm attacking there. I have two armies there. Like that area is not a problem. Really, it's just the border. It's just the castines that are a problem, really. I mean, I'll get Peak Pass. I'll get the. Uh, the red eyes eventually as well, but I need something to hold off their advance at, uh, at Schwarzhafen. Send me to vengeance. Not going to be any stretch of the imagination. 1,100 right. to colonize this lair thing the place. Not in my name. Another 800 to build Throw that. Um, all right. Afterwards, we move north, I think, to over there, kill them, double back, get Karakadrin, and put ourselves within striking distance of Waldenhof. But that's going to take a while, and considering how many troops have just lost colonizing that, this area is going to be defenseless, practically, for the interim period. Specifically, I'm worried about Zufbar quite a lot. Drink them! Enough to consider breaking off this siege. Putting them on a forced march through all this territory and into that's the wrong route to take into Zufbar. But yeah, I'm gonna need you to go like there somewhere on forced march. Inevitably, you are going to be late for whatever is there, but... Well, better late than never, as they say. And considering the development in the northern bits of our empire, and the fact that the Bloody Hands, along with some other greenskins, have decided to pay me a visit... In surplus... That. We're going to need to take this Karak right now and uh, defend the region from there. So, we do have long beards. I do have coral as long as we do have. There. That's all we need. Like, I've set up a damn good strategy at, uh, at assaulting walls, so. And with the siege combat being as pathetic as it is in Warhammer. That'll be enough. Um, and no, I will never stop ranting on and on about how terrible the siege combat is. Look at it. Like, this was the first few minutes of a siege in medieval. And then you'll pull back to. Well, I talked about this a million times, I'm boring myself a little bit, but then. Like, remember, then you'd like, you defend the gate. And then the gate would fall, and then you defend the walls, and the walls would fall. Then you pull back to the first street, and then that would fall. And then you'd be forced to pull back up into the upper streets, you know, the higher districts. Narrower streets, and when those would fall, you would pull back to the plaza. When the plaza would fall, you would pull back to the castle. Now, the castle was a puzzle of its own, because you could not get siege towers in there. Right, you could not get uh, anything in there, you'd have just, just your men. So you would do that, and then, oh, it was glorious! Why did you ruin it? My only question. Alright, I want you in there, and I want you in there. So, question is, where are we attacking? Um, 
Though, in fairness, this particular cavern does seem representative of the city, at least. As in, there's not much more to it other than this, but there is. There is this thing here. Why not force me to defend that thing as well? Or, uh, I don't know. Make it better for crying out loud. Also, who the hell replaces these? I want that job. Because you don't have to do it often, but when you do, it's like... The key attraction of the city. Alright, let's start setting up our... Uh, Forces. We want the entire quarrel line up behind them and the approach those right there. Hero yeah, unit in the middle of it all. Is that everyone? Yeah. Alright, attack! Um, I want you to go there. You to go there. Go there and you to go right there. Um, Quarrel a line. I'm gonna move up. And the grudge throw is gonna do their thing. And the backup infantry is gonna move slowly behind the quarrelers. There we go. I'm not moving the hero unit, am I? <clears throat> Sorry. There we go, you're gonna run with the quarrel line up ahead as well. So if they start shooting at you, you have a fox on the help to survive. There they are. Big uns this time. Not black uns. Big uns. Certainly helpful. Um, matter of fact, can we all focus fire on the big uns? Oh, yeah. We'll all just focus fire on them and see how quickly they melt, if at all. I'm not really that impressed with the speed at which this is happening. Mm. Visually, it's very impressive. I don't know what, they're probably hitting a whole bunch of other ones there as well. There's that beard burner guy again. I didn't kill him. Fascinating. Fascinated I am. Alright, grudge throwers. Target the gate. Um, I don't want you to accidentally murder some of my men. Um, now I guess it's time for the backup infantry to move out. Um, you're going to scale that thing. You're going to scale that thing. You are scaling that thing, and you are scaling that thing. Let's see how well you do. These guys I expect to do marvellously in close quarter combat on the walls, because, well, that's kind of what they specialise at. Plus, they've mostly engaged tiny little goblin archers, so... Oh, I'm really optimistic about their entire situation. I'd like Quarrelers to move up as well. And you can stop uh, with them. Get open yet? Uh, two damage, alright. Go ahead and attack them, and the guys that are climbing up now can see down the wall and towards the gate. Uh, I'm bringing the morale off of most of them, so... Actually, I can't give up in my situation. Again, goblins here. Gobbos, if you will. Uh, so we hope, so we hope. Um, we're going to be the only person that's going to go through the gate and it's going to be... That'd be like an action movie. 
which is to say glorious but a little bit stupid. I think that's fair enough. I think that's dwarven enough of me. I need you to attack him. Claim to be, he claims to burn beards off of people. Well, the long beards seem to be the perfect enemy. Well, not perfect enemy, but the logical enemy, certainly. You know what, they probably will need reinforcements, though. So... Yeah, if you could all... Uh... Go ahead and assist, that would be lovely. Question is, why is there around 2 billion units fighting my one unit here? Well, they are mostly goblins, but you will need help, and help is on the way. At least I hope it is. Right, you're not doing too badly, he does have abilities though. Can you not shoot at them? Of course you can! Then what the fuck were you doing all this time? You do have fire at will enabled. So, fire at will, duh. There you go, one volley and you broke them off. What were you thinking? Come on. Everybody forward. Um... Stuck in there. You get stuck in with them, which is really you know, decisive. It's a bunch of goblins you can expect. Against the dwarven fighting elite. Maybe kill a few, maybe. Oh, there you go. Uh, the dwarven fighting elite seems to be slightly diminishing in numbers. They, uh... put it politely, they're getting their asses handed to them. So, give them some skirmishing reinforcements at that end, and uh, get you stuck into the fight as well. Done with them, you can just get stuck in there. I'd like you to get stuck in with them. Uh, now start firing those guys. Lost a lot of good warriors there. Alright, there we go. That was pretty good. Um, could have been better, but uh, a satisfactory end to my uh, my battle. Well, we were outnumbered, and we did lose only 86, so all things considered, could be a lot worse. Um, yeah. From a tactical perspective, it's also pretty damn good. What do I mean? Well, if I'm going to have to do another battle soon, I'm in an okay position. So I'll just pull back one of the units of reserve, and I'm, I'm more or less at more fighting strength, so... You yeah, know. Not bad, not bad, all things considered. Um, okay, so build that thing, and... Uh, well, congratulations are in order, I suppose. What do we have here? Um, no, here. Azag the Slaughterer has returned. What didn't have didn't didn't get enough the first time round? All right. Um, what does he have? Well, he has some uh, regiments of renown. That's interesting. Very bad way for me. But uh My axe 
Here's the thing, thing. they are on a forced march, and they're going to Schwarzhafen. Look, I don't have a lot of hope for this, you know, but, um, look, all I'm saying is, you never know. You never know. What? Krun the Orcbane. Well, live up to your name, I guess. Um, get level three in that. And, uh... I don't realize how wrong it is to send them to fight vampires now. Okay. But you know what? I... Uh, no, 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 sorry. What? On to glory. To the ancestors. Doesn't really matter. No Accidentally... Disconnected him from the main army force. It's okay. Uh, damn, the border princes have a lot of territory. Of course, they usually do, but they've kept most of it. So, congratulations on that, I suppose. And I'll tell you what, they are humans. I'd prefer them to have control over uh, more territory than than anyone else. There is going to be a, a chaos tribe that attacks from the south, though. So. We'll see how that goes. I think they set up a raiding camp right there. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, which automatically issues a grudge. I'd rather eat a squeak. Well, um... Can't believe I'm saying this, but a grudge takes precedent over, uh... Whatever other thing we were doing. It is time. Yeah, Struggle to summon anything now. Now, where are you? How are you doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, vampire corruptions are not reducing here. I need the mine up and running again. Let's march. Ooh. The High King acts. Yeah, there's gonna be a problem up there. Oh, sh shoot me! Do not actually shoot me, but I'm trying not to swear in order not, you know, in order to keep my videos monetized. Time for a reckoning. Very well. You have to fight him. Uh, I mean, I don't want to. I really don't want to. But I'm kind of going to have to next time. Yeah. Well, let's, let's set up a tactic for this. I have the stronger melee. Apart from the giant. Target the giant with the catapults. Draws a... Uh... Poor little poor leadership will break. I can use these guys to kill them. Three hero units are going to be a problem. Vurgaz, the Great Green Prophet. I played as this guy until not so long ago and conquered the entire map with him. Actually, first character I, or first faction I can't I conquered the entire map with, so. Painted literally the entire thing, so yeah. Uh, all right, all right. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, uh, I'm not holding out a lot of hope, but um, yeah, it's not impossible to win this. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for uh, very much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video, take care and bye bye.